Today, I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in-game while keeping your visibility and quality in Warframe. This is a no BS tutorial, so let's get right into it. First, you're gonna go to your display settings. You're gonna set your display mode to full screen to reduce any input lag. You're gonna set your video resolution to 1920 by 1080 or whatever your native resolution of your monitor is. That's what mine is. Your refresh rate is gonna be the refresh rate of your monitor, mine's 240 hertz. Your aspect ratio is gonna be the ratio of your monitor, mine is 16 by nine. Vertical sync, you're going to want to turn off to make sure there's no input lag. Max frame rate, you're going to set to no limit. Brightness and contrast is up to you. Field of view, you're going to want to set somewhere between 80 and 90. You're going to want it a little bit higher than the baseline so that you can see more around you and increase your visibility, but it will reduce your frames slightly. So you just have to decide if you want a little bit more frames or a little bit more visibility between 80 or 90. I go with 90. For show FPS, you can select that if you want to look at your FPS. Scrolling down, your upscaling method here needs to be either DLSS if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, or FSR if you have an AMD graphics card. I have a NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm going to do DLSS, and then your quality setting is going to be set to quality on either one. FSR or DLSS is both going to be a quality. Sharpening you can leave at 50. Moving down to the quality presets, you're going to want to turn geometry quality to low, shadow quality to low, extra memory you're going to leave on high, particle system quality you're going to set to low, GPU par particle quality you're going to set to low, anisotropic filtering, filtering you're going to set to 4x, trilinear filtering you're going to turn off. Dynamic lighting, you're going to make sure it's turned off. Volumetric lighting, local reflections, both turned off. Your SSAO quality or your amb ambient occlusion needs to be disabled. Your volumetric fog should be low. And then all the way down here, high shader quality, motion blur, depth of field, distortions, glare, film grain, and bloom. Turn them all off. It's going to increase your visibility a lot. Going down to the weapon elemental effects, you can leave this on or off. It's not really going to affect your FPS. Color correction, I would turn it on. It helps the visibility a little bit better. Contact shadows, character shadows, sun shadows, and enhanced decals, you're going to want to turn off. Moving down here, optimized flip model, you want to make sure you turn that off. And reduce frame latency, you want to make sure you turn this off. It can make your FPS unpredictable. You're going to want to confirm that. So if you go to the far right tab here and then you scroll down, couple settings that you want to change here, enable screen shake, you want to turn this off to make sure it's your screen is stable and your visibility is increased. And then in terms of visual effects intensity, you can turn this down as well if you want. I wouldn't recommend turning it up. Other than that, that's really it. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Hit the like button if you enjoy no bullshit tutorials. Peace.